what is up guys um so a couple of people have asked me for videos or information on the milwaukee m18 uh air tool let's try to get out of the sun so um this is the milwaukee m18 all right um there's the information behind it I'm trying to get a good clear thing on it um so it says catalog number is 2848-20 and it says max is 150 PSI, 10.3 bar, 18 volt. And this one comes with the um, adapter here. It comes with a like air pump uh, nozzle for uh, like a basketball or a volleyball. And it comes with another one here for like filling up like a balloon or beach ball or something. Um, and then you have your regular standard um, piece for the uh, air valves. They do sell an attachment, <clears throat> excuse me. They sell an attachment that you could thread this onto and then it has a quick release. Um, so that you can just put it on the valve and take it off the valve. Now, um, so with these, I use the uh, M18 Red Lithium XO 5.0 battery. Um, Cause this is what I have for all my tools. All right, so you just basically slide it in place lock it in place all right make sure it's fully charged um when you turn it on the screen will light up okay and then you have you can switch it from psi i think you have to hold it to kpa and back uh, and bar and then back to psi all right so this here is an indicator of the target of what you want so you can set memories on these so I have 110 for the trucks, uh, 60 for spare tires, and 32 PSI for like regular cars. But let's say I'm getting something that needs 40 PSI. So I can, you know, click up to 40 like that and then set it. Or if you say, uh, let's say it's at zero and you want to go to 40, you press it, hold it. It'll jump in increments of like the fives, all right, to 40 like that. And then you can always go up, down or whatever. And then this button here is the one that you hit to start it up. All right. yeah. Now with this one, once you hit this and you have it set to what you want, um, you can walk away from it. So once, let's say I'm filling up a tire for 40 or when I do like a customer spare and it's at 60, I set it, I hit the button and I leave it alone. And then once it hits 60, it will automatically shut off. And that's it, you really can't beat it. Um, I know during like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, Christmas, um, they had these on sale. Lowe's, no, was it Lowe's or Home Depot? Crap, I don't remember. I think it might have been Home Depot. I'm not sure. One of them, one of the sites had it for 200 bucks for the inflator tool and two batteries. You could not beat it. I was sharing it all over social media. Some people bought it. Some people missed out on it. Um, but then again, you can go like, again, you know, during the holidays or Cyber Monday, Black Friday, whatever they have them on sale. Sometimes you get the, the inflator tool by itself, um, for like 150 bucks. Um, they usually go for like, I think a hundred and like 79, 200 bucks by itself. And then you got to buy the batteries, which is why I was telling everybody buy them up right away. Um, cause Home Depot had it for 200 bucks with two batteries and it was only online order only. So you couldn't pick it up at the store. You can't beat it. Um, I use this every single day and let me tell you something. This is a lifesaver. All right. You just got to make sure that you have your batteries charged up. Um, I have about six batteries, so I never worry about that. And if my batteries go low, then I just charge the uh, battery in the cab of the truck while I'm driving around and that's it. All right. So again, that's the M18, um, inflator tool from Milwaukee and you know, I use this battery here. I don't have a bigger battery. But as long as it's an 18 volt battery and you, um, it, the, the battery lasts pretty long on these. I can fill up a bunch of cars, um, like a bunch of tires on the cars and I won't have issues. The only time I ate through batteries was when I had to, um, fill up six tires on a U-Haul truck one day that was wedged, um, against a sprinkler system and we had to deflate the tires and then pull it out and then fill them up again. That's when I ate up my batteries because it was constantly running. Um, it does have a fan, so it keeps it kind of cool inside the compressor. Um, so it doesn't overheat. Um, but like I said, I got, you know, all my batteries in here. Um, my small gun here, my large impact 
is on this side. Um, and then I keep tools there. But yeah, it's a really good unit and I definitely recommend purchasing one.